Where do I begin? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am back. I have teal hair. It's fun. It's crazy. It's outgoing. Needed a change. Okay. I'm gonna do a movie review, like I promised. Yes, it's a day late. I apologize. I had lots think. I'm so confused right now. My head hurts, and I don't know what to do. It's just, my mind's going everywhere. And it's all because of the Avengers. They're supposed to be good. They're mean. So where do I begin? Well, it immediately starts off following events of Thor Ragnarok, so if you haven't seen that, go watch that first, then watch this movie. I'm not gonna do any spoilers because lots of you have not seen it yet, I'm sure. Many of you have seen it for sure, but this will be spoiler free. I'm not even going to do a spoiler zone either. It's just gonna be straight up, no spoilers, have at it, take it as you will, and then walk away. No matter how ready you think you are for this movie, you are not ready. Simple, simple as that. You are never going to be ready for this movie. The amount of people that they have making this film, the amount of people they have starring in the film is overwhelming. They have so much production design. They have so many outfits that they have. Uh, all the settings are incredible, but there's a lot of action. There's almost no time to breathe. Even the parts that they've placed into the movie where you're supposed to have a little breather, you can't because there's so much drama and hype in the background of everything. And that's my hamster rolling around, by the way. So just ignore that sound. Ryan is cleaning our cage. Anyways, there's just, there's so much happening all at once with, you know, you've got Iron Man in it, Captain America, Black Widow, the Hulk, Thor, the Guardians of the Galaxy are in it. Thanos is, of course, in it as he's the villain of the movie. It's just Black Panther, everyone. Everyone is just in it. And like, th this is how I feel. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to feel. I don't know if I should be happy, if I should be excited, if I should be sad, if I should be angry. It's just, it's just a bundle of mess. Oh! So, yeah, as I said, there is a lot that goes on. There's barely any room in the movie to breathe. It's just, it's so much drama, it's so much tension, it's so much action. And, as I said, everyone is back in it, aside from two Avengers. Um, it's not a spoiler. This was announced. Uh, Hawkeye's not in it, and neither is Ant-Man, so don't go in expecting them. They will not be there. Um, they had f filmed some scenes for the movie, but it ended up getting cut for, I guess, uh, timing reasons, and it just the flow, I guess. And there is only one post credit scene. It's at the very, very end after all of like, the final credits go up, so do stay to the very end to see it because it is rather important. It's a good lead up to the next big installment of the Avengers and everything. But they, they, they do bring a lot of people back from previous films. I'm gonna leave it at that. As I said, the production value of this movie was insane. They 
are definitely making it back. <laughs> um, and yeah, there is there is just a lot going on. It does jump from one thing to the next and it's constantly like, here's, what is there? There's like maybe six separate storylines within this one big storyline. So, and if you saw my Star Wars review for The Last Jedi, you know I have an issue with multiple storylines. But this one actually worked. Disney upped up the game. They managed to get a hold on this and they did it quite well. It was still all over the place, but it also fit in. Whereas in my Star Wars one, it was all just like separate. Really, you could have taken things out and it still would have flowed. But this one, this movie had like a Thor storyline, it had a Hulk storyline, it had a Captain America storyline, an Iron Man storyline. Literally, each of the Avengers had their own storyline, and it had a Guardian of the Galaxy storyline, all within the Thanos storyline. Um, just everything was happening. And I know I keep saying that, but <laughs> that's basically all that I can say without spoiling anything. Um, I would have liked them to focus more on the main issue, which was Thanos, but I get why they did all of the separate storylines to then try and like combine them all into one big thing. But it, it was a little bit of a jumbled mess. It was an organized jumbled mess, but a jumbled mess nonetheless. Yeah, but it was, acting was phenomenal. I, I think, like, there were, you know, the humor was okay. There was definitely forced humor in it, but for the most part, it was pretty good. Um, I did definitely laugh a few times in the movie, but I found that there was not as much humor in this movie as past Marvel movies because it was such a big film and so much action that was taking over everything else, it kind of overshadowed that. So they had the random, like really should we be doing a joke at this point? Yes, it's funny, but should we at this point kind of moment, which I liked because it kind of diffused the tension. And then other times it was like, when there was the lull point, they were trying to do a bit of joking, but it didn't, really work at that point, even though it could have. Uh, I think they just needed to execute some jokes a little better, like how other ones got me. You will definitely be shocked at certain points. You will be probably sad at certain points. You will be angry at certain points, for sure. You will be confused throughout and definitely after. All acting was phenomenal. Another thing that I didn't really like is that they didn't really acknowledge, there was only one scene in the movie where they actually like acknowledged the looks of Thor and Captain America, how they look so different. But not once in the movie did they acknowledge Black Widow and why her hair is suddenly blonde. Because when we first saw her, she appeared in Iron Man 2 and her hair was long, curly and it was like a deep blood red color and I was living for it. Then it went short for the Avengers and it was still red. Then it went long and then by like Civil War it was like a brown color and now it's platinum blonde. Why? Uh, my friend Andrea, we had a almost 40 minute conversation with her discussing everything about the film and we've just been speculating different scenarios as to how things happened and where things are kind of going and how things can kind of get resolved and complicate other things further. And one of the things she was saying was that with their appearances, um, just a speculation, because they've been on the run from the law and just being themselves and not caring about anything and just doing what they think is right, that is why their appearances have changed and she kind of like disguised herself to make herself not as known, I guess. But uh, 
I, I, I still would have liked a little bit of recognition for her and trying to figure out like why she did that look. There wasn't a whole lot of story. Like the main plot was Thanos is coming. He's gathering the Infinity Stones. He has the Infinity Gauntlet. If he gets all six, doomed to the universe. And Avengers stop him. That is the storyline. That has been the storyline since the very first Avengers. Other than that, there wasn't much. We get a little bit of background on another character. It's just, it's, it's a phenomenal movie. But again, it's very confusing and a lot to take in. So prepare yourself and then prepare yourself extra because as I said before, right from the get go, you are not going to be ready no matter how ready you are for this movie. Try and avoid all spoilers if you can. If you've already had things spoiled, well, maybe you shouldn't own a computer or a cell phone. Avoid the internet. That's simple. I managed to do it. You can do it as well. So that's pretty much all that I could say without giving anything away. Uh, other than that, I'm going to give my rating. I'm going to give it an A. I really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. As confusing as it was, and as confused as I am with it now, it was still a very well done movie. It did have its faults. Some parts didn't like tweak my happy bones, but I don't know. I just thought of that. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. It, 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 there's going to be no perfect movie. Every movie has its flaws. But this was still really well done. And there, considering there was so much happening, I expected there to be a lot of flaws. And there wasn't a lot actually, but I was expecting flaws. But it definitely did not disappoint. It definitely lives up to the hype. So do go watch this movie. Go while you're still watching this video. I'm not sure. Go now, go watch it. IMAX, IMAX 3D regular theater, in 3D or not, D-Box, moving some seats, VIP theaters, just go. Find a space, download it online. Don't do that, that's rude. Go to a theater, go enjoy it with some friends, some family, by yourself. I don't go by myself, because I'm weird, I can't do that. Go and stay to the end if you want a great lead-in to a Marvel movie that's coming up really soon, like next year. I'm not gonna say which one, but watch it. I hope you enjoyed my review. I will be back again next week with another video and I will see you then. Ta-ta for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. Don't forget to subscribe to all of my social media, which will be listed at the end of this video. Don't forget to like this video. Make sure you share this video. Leave some comments down below. If you've seen it and you want to comment below, don't do any spoilers, please. I will delete them if you have spoilers. But uh, feel free to troll people. I'm inviting all of the trolls. I love it. I think trolling is hilarious. So go troll down below and I'll see you next week. Bye. My life is a pie.